Hey guys, what's going on? I'm back with another video. Happy Wednesday to you. So it's that time of the week again. We're going through all the football games that are going on this week. Tell you what I think is going to win. Uh, all that good stuff. So we only got two weeks left, including this week, week 16, and then week 17. Uh, happy, well, well, I guess merry almost Christmas to you. It's not Christmas yet. Uh, but we are kind of getting down to the stretch here. Uh, so we'll go through, give you my picks, who I think is going to win. You know, debates, uh, give you my takes, all that good stuff. If you want to let me know in the comments down below your take, we can... Uh, you know, we can, we can chat about that. But uh, anyways, I've enjoyed I've enjoyed doing that, doing this stuff this season because it's been a, a really different season. Uh, a lot of people who nobody thought had a chance are doing well. Teams everybody thought would do well are terrible. It's it's been one of those years, you know. Uh, so it's 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 been fun, and we're uh, we're almost done. Uh, so that being said, let's go through the games that are going on this week. Tell you who uh, tell you who I got. So first game, Colts Ravens. Obviously, I got the Ravens. Man, the, the ones that are no brainers, I just kind of go. Uh, go over, go through. Uh, next game up, Vikings Packers. So Aaron Rodgers went to, uh, went back to injured reserve, back to that from which he came uh, after throwing some picks and losing last week. Uh, you know, everybody thought you know he's going to come back and some unbelievable comeback. Uh, you know, because they were right on the edge of making the playoffs, but uh, they lost, and now since they're out of it, um, he's gone back to IR. Uh, so now the, the Packers are Packers are pretty much officially done. Uh, so I got the Vikings winning this game. The Vikings are much better. Uh, next game up, uh, Panthers and uh, Buccaneers. I got the Panthers. Uh, Cleveland Browns and Bears. What an awful, what an awful, awful game. This is on Christmas Eve Sunday. What a, what a, what do you have to do to get assigned to cover that game? Like, oh my, that is a, oh God. That is bad. Uh, all right, I guess I got the Bears. Yeah, sure. Uh, next game up, uh, Lions, Bengals. The Lions. Uh, next game up. All right, this is an interesting one. Dolphins and Chiefs. So the Dolphins are six and eight. The Chiefs are eight and six. Uh, so the Dolphins are a team that I thought because you know they made the playoffs last year for the first time in you know forever. Uh, I thought we're going to be good going into this year. They just you know really beat the Patriots pretty soundly. Um, not last well Monday Night Football not last week, but the week before. Uh, and it's a team that has what it takes. I mean, obviously Jay Cutler, it's, you know, you don't think that much of him. But other than that, and, and I've always ripped on them for being a dirty, because they are a dirty team. Dominican Sue, Kiko Alonso, Cameron Wake, just that dirty defense, dirty team, all that stuff. Uh, but they have some fight. That's the thing. And then on the other hand, the Chiefs, who started the year 5-0, and who I said... You can go back and see those videos. I said the whole time, I said, Andy Reid's going to do Andy Reid stuff. This like The air's coming out of that balloon. They start 5-0. and oh. They completely crap their pants down the stretch. Now they're 8-6. and six. I mean, that really tells you, you know, lose like however many straight. Um, but the last two weeks, they've turned it around. Running games going back to looking like it, you know, was uh, earlier on in the season. So they are on, I think they're right on the edge. I think they're in the playoffs, but they're right on the edge. Uh, right now, so they have no room for ever error, uh, and they're a better team than the Dolphins, so uh, I'm going to give that to the Chiefs. Next game up, Patriots and, uh, and Bills, so I'll wait. Yeah, we'll talk about it now. So, obviously, the best, the biggest game, the most hyped game, and the best game of the year was on Sunday night, Steelers and Patriots. Holy smokes, what a game. I was tweeting about it. Um, that, was, that was unreal. It was everything it was promised to be. It was it lived up to the hype. Tremendous game, down to the wire. You know, Antonio Brown goes out with the injury. Uh, Steelers, you know, are, are a little bit still even better equipped than the Patriots. They're ahead at the, you know, at the end of the game. Tom Brady, you know, does one of his patented Tom Brady comeback drives, goes down, gets the lead. Juju Smith-Schuster tears down the field, 69-yard uh, run on a blown coverage. Um on a crossing route, just tears up down the field with seconds to go. It looks like this is like 30 seconds, 28 seconds to go. Steelers are on the 10 yard line. Looks like they're going to win. Uh, they throw the, and then this is when the Steelers, you know, and Mike Tomlin do what the Steelers always do. And it's just bad coaching and big spots. So you get down there and they didn't have any really like any plays called. They didn't really know what they were doing. So they throw, this out route to, uh, who was it? Was it Bryant? Or, no, I think it was, was it Schuster? I, I, I forget who it was. Uh, Malcolm Butler tackles him inbounds while the clock keeps going. The Steelers have no timeouts because they had to use their last timeout running down the field 
uh, to where Schuster was tackled. Um, so they have no timeouts. So now they got to clock the ball. Um, but the big play everybody's talking about is the is the throw to Jesse James, which I uh, look. I'm uh, it, that was a touchdown. I mean, it looked like a touchdown. Everybody in the world thought it was a touchdown. Uh, but because the ball hit the ground as he was going to the ground, it's incomplete. So they bring it back out to the 10. Then the dumbest... Because what happened was, you got like three minutes while they're reviewing the play. In the Steelers, because they're kind of dumb uh, and they're coaching, they got like three minutes and not at any time during the three minutes while they're reviewing the play did they game plan for like what plays they're going to call next. They just kind of just sat there doing nothing. And so now they got to run a play again and they didn't have a play called. So they do this dumb fake spike and like not everybody on the Steelers knew what the play was. Only uh, Eli Rogers ran out for a pass. So you got like one receiver and everybody covering him. It gets picked off and the Steelers lose the game. So it's just, it, it's the same thing that happened with the Seahawks at the end of Super Bowl 49. Just the coaching just craps itself. Um, and, and so that's what kind of happened there. So the Patriots barely got the win. Um, but the thing about this game with the Bills is most of the time the play, Patriots play the Bills because they're in the same division. It's like a throwaway game because the Bills have nothing to play for late in the year. You know, it's just like, you know, the Bills really have nothing to play for other than, you know, money, right? So, but this game, on the other hand, the Bills have a chance of making the playoffs, so they need the game. The Patriots need this game because if they lose, they'll lose first place to the Steelers. Um, and then also the Bills, because of Gronk's dirty hits uh, a few weeks ago on, uh, on, on, on White, um, you know, they, there's some motivation there, but even though they've said, okay, well, we just want to win, which is, you know, obviously the league's going to suspend whoever for dirty hits. Um, they're going to be watching that. So, um, it, there are implications for both teams, which I think is interesting, but nonetheless, the Patriots are the Patriots and I got them winning, but a, a close game. Next game up, Falcons and, and Saints. Uh, I, I like the other night on Monday Night Football when Matt Ryan turns and he goes, get effing set! And he just yells it. That was funny. Um, but anyway, I think the Saints are better. I think this is the Saints here. I guess the Saints win this game. Uh, next game up, Chargers and Jets. I got the Chargers. Uh, Rams and Titans. I got the Rams. Broncos, Redskins. Got the Redskins. Jacksonville, 49 This is a good game. Jacksonville 49ers on Christmas Eve. Because Jimmy G has been playing lights out for the 49ers with like no receivers to throw to. And then Jacksonville's a good team. So this is like the... This is Jimmy G's real first test of his career. Like, re well, I think his first start against the Cardinals last year with the Patriots was that. But this is a real test for him. I got Jacksonville winning this game. Jacksonville's hell-bent on having a playoff run this year. And Jimmy G doesn't have any weapons. And, you know, he hasn't really been tested like this before. So I got, uh... I got... Give me Jacksonville in this game. Next game up, Giants, Cardinals. Got the Cardinals. Uh, Seahawks, Cowboys, uh, Seahawks after a bad loss. I got the Seahawks getting blown out uh, at home. So I, that's kind of motivation enough. Next game, Steelers, Texans got the Steelers. And finally, Raiders and Eagles. Uh, I got the Eagles. So the Eagles are an interesting story because everybody thought they were going to be done without Carson Wentz. Um, so they bring in Nick Foles, who actually can play pretty well. But if you think about it, the, the Eagles play the, 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 you know, bare bones, you know, shell of themselves, Oakland Raiders this week. And then their last game next week is also against the garbage. Team. I don't know which one it is. Uh, well, it's against the Cowboys who have Elliott back now. So, I mean, you can make the case that's a competitive game, but, yeah, You know, just run game in, in, in defense in a serviceable quarterback you should be able to beat them but nonetheless they'll be the number one seed they'll have the first week off they'll have the lowest ranked team in the divisional round and then the conference round is legit now basically whether or not the eagles are going to the super bowl this year has less to do with carson wentz and more to do with can they survive a conference championship game in philadelphia against the uh, Saints against the Rams. I mean, if you game plan really hard, you play a close gritty game, you could. But, I mean, they could, the Eagles could end up still going to the Super Bowl just because of how much they've put in the bank and the fact there's really not many people in their way up until the NFC Championship game, which, you know, we can kind of talk about that then. Um, but it's interesting nonetheless. So, other than that, that's going to do it for the picks for this uh, for Week 16 this week, guys. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you get any comments, let me know uh, in the description down below. But other than that, until next time, that's going to do it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching.